If I could start all over again, where would I start? What would my advice be? And what would I tell my younger self? So just to let you know, if you're watching this, I really want this new series. This is like a raw series of me just talking, very uncut, and I want it to really resonate with people. So this particular video is about starting all over again and pursuing entrepreneurship and business and time freedom and financial stability and just enjoying life and having some purpose, right? And that's really been my goal ever since I was young. And especially now I look back as I've grown up and I'd like to think I'm a little bit wiser, but if I was to give myself some advice, what would it be? And I'm hoping this advice also resonates with you and that you might take something away. So I think looking back now, I always knew I was gonna be an entrepreneur. I showed every sign. I was doing everything that a young entrepreneur and someone who is very driven to do their own thing. I've always liked control. I think that's a key trait amongst business owners and entrepreneurs, is taking control and knowing where your destiny is and, and where you're going because you want that control of making the decisions along the way, right? So my advice really would be, Aaron, if you weren't in a relationship and this goes to everyone else, stay at home. I think there's this urgency or this feeling of urgency that everyone should move out. Keep up with the Joneses. Social media tells you that you should be very independent, that you should be earning lots of money. And in reality, it doesn't work like that. So I would actually say, whether you're in a relationship or whether you're not, try to remain at home. It's a really sensible idea. We are also in a very crazy world. And I think one of the hardest things for people to navigate right now is dealing with social media and specifically the darker side of social media. It has some amazing sides to it, branding, business, and all of this good stuff, which I've taken full advantage of. But at the same time, social media, as I've seen, is incredibly dark. And if you're not wise to it and you're not experienced enough, you can really get sucked in. And um, the worst case scenario is you end up with serious mental health issues. So my advice to a younger self would be, Remain disconnected from the moment you open an account on any platform. Only use social media for business and branding purposes. Ed Sheeran did a video once where he said he sees a lot of pain in people where they're pretending to smile, yet he knows that they're hurting, whereas he only uses it to market a new video or something like that. And I totally agree. And you know, if you scroll or you search on my YouTube, I took seven months off of Instagram and that was to detox and that really helped me because it gave me clarity. Social media is fake. All of it is fake. It's a highlight reel, but it's damaging a lot of people. So I would really advise my younger self and to you, just know that what you're looking at, you are only seeing a fragment. You are seeing the best side of it. I mean, the good news is as well, saying that raw videos like this and other videos, we are on a bit of a, a curvature now where more authentic and transparent content is really popping and doing well. But if you're not wise to it and you're younger and you're trying to keep up with people and you're trying to fit in, it's really damaging. You haven't got to fit in with anyone, which leads me nicely on to what I, I've always been very good at this, I've got to be honest, but I'm hoping this is good advice for you. Say no to people. Do you want to come out? No. Say no. Don't be peer pressured. Entrepreneurship, starting a business, you need a lot of self-mastery, a lot of emotional control, and you need to start doing things for you. You do need to be selfless. And I've learned this more. You need to be selfless before, sorry, you need to be selfish before selfless. You need to make good decisions for you, not for other people. Don't do something if it's not what you want to do. And here's the other thing that I would also tell my younger self. No one gives a shit. No one fucking cares. People only care when you're adding value or solving problems for them. They don't care about you. Your family will, your mum, your dad, your sister, your brother, hopefully. Blood's not always thicker than water, but they'll care for you. Your immediate family will. You're really, really close friends. But there are a lot of people out there that will want to use you. And so you need to learn to say no to these people. And you need to cut off toxic people. And it's there's a rubber band explanation where 
If you're trying to break away from someone who you know deep down in your gut is just not good for you. And when you're younger, you might know, you might have a feeling that someone's not good for you, but you, you don't break away. Maybe it's confidence, maybe it's a feeling of being lonely or you know, judgment or people pointing the finger at you or being singled out, which is why you don't cut away from these people. If you're getting that feeling, that is a feeling to say, run a mile. Because the longer you stay there, these rubber bands will be, you can't even see them, but they're going around you. So when you try and break away, it's snapping back and it becomes harder and harder and harder and your self-esteem drops and drops and your confidence drops. And then you become a shadow of a person and you don't have the confidence to break away. So telling my younger self, starting again, identify as soon as possible the people that aren't good for you. I would also take up combat sports immediately. Um, combat sports, I, I boxed for many years as an amateur boxer. And what it done for me was, I already had very good discipline instilled in me from a young age, but it 10 x it. I mean, the levels of discipline that I had after boxing were were just 10 x it was just on another level. And, I, and that's now never left me. I mean, it's now uh, 10 past nine and I'm recording this. I've already done a full day of work. I've trained like an absolute beast in the gym. I've made really smart decisions. I, I work, um, you know, I'm calculated when I work, but I've learned that, you know, experience, right? But combat sports and discipline and fitness as a whole, the moment that you can build that into your life, that your parents or you can afford to get gym membership, do it. Good habits first. Build fitness into your life. And I'm gonna be doing another raw video around how fitness has truly saved my life many a time. I mean, you know, the whole saying of the gym is um, your temple. The gym is my fucking temple. The gym is where I've been able to go and deal with demons and beasts and go to war and just really just get everything out and come away a better person. So there's a whole nother video to come on that. One of my biggest pieces of, of advice, which I still do to this very day, but I would definitely pull the younger Aaron aside and anyone watching this and I would say to you, network, 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 network. We're in a world at the moment where it's so busy, there's so many ideas, there's so many business models, there's so many ways of making money, there's a lot of confusion, there's a lot of comparison, there's a lot of this competing with other people and not really knowing what to do and then there's a huge amount of overwhelm. Meet the right people, go network, book a train ticket, go to London, meet good people, you know, environment dictates performance, right? So. If you can do that from a young age, and, and I don't even say this lightly, I, you know, I don't often say things like this, but if you start networking from the age of 17, 18 years old, and you start meeting good people, positive, successful, ambitious people in big city centres like places like London, you could quite easily be a multimillionaire by 30. Now, some people will be going, how? What, what's the business? I haven't got the answer for that, but there is a business within that. Because when you meet incredible people, you are just, you're on cloud nine. You are inspired. On the bad days, you can call people who are incredible, who will lift you back up. On the days where you've got brain fog and you feel like you don't know what you're doing and you've got imposter syndrome, you pick up the phone and you ring your network and you ask people for advice, support, you know, guidance, and, and it's there for you. So your network, is like a saving grace. So I would say to someone 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, all the way up until right now, however old you are, I'm 31, network every week. Every week, go to a new event and meet meet new people and, you know, and spend time with them and nurture the relationships, you know, because eventually it will come back around. And I have, I've really learned to uh, value time and who I spend with, which now leads me on to my next one, time. I am so picky um, on who I spend my time with. You don't get time back. It's like, it's the creme de la creme of all of them. Of all the things that you could have, it's the, it's the one at the top, time. So I'd say to my younger self, who are you spending time with now? What value are they adding um, to your life? What have you done over the last week? How have you improved? The people that you spent time with, do they want you to do well? Are they doing good things? Uh, do you value your time? 
if you're gonna have a meeting, did the meeting go on for an hour? But yeah, it could have been done in 10 minutes. You know, the things I'm talking about now, I've, I've learned as I've gotten older, you know, you, you gain experience, but I suppose I'm trying to give you almost like the heads up. I'm trying to provide the information which I wish someone had have said to me, you know, 10, 11 years ago, look out for these things. So time is, time is of the essence, right? Relationships, um, personal and professional, never go into a business relationship uh, because you think it's gonna make business easy, because it's not. If you're looking for a business relationship because you think uh, that's the answer to making a successful business, it's not, there's no shortcuts. If you find a right partnership within business, you'll know, but never force it. Same applies in a personal relationship. Never force a personal relationship. And also, if you're gonna go into business, one of the hardest conversations to have is telling your partner who might be um, used to the nine to five lifestyle or not working at all, telling them that you're going into business. That's a tricky conversation. So my advice and my heads up to you watching this and to my younger self would be, make sure that you're gonna be dating and then getting into a long-term relationship with someone who has the same values as you not only just now, but in five years and 10 years, do you want the same things? And then reevaluate every few years that you're on the same path. Because if you're not, you could waste money and then you could waste the creme de la creme time. So these are all things to be um, mindful of. I think also I would say to myself, and I was very hyper aware of this, by the way, for the record, even from the age of um, 15, 16, I was very independent. I was very confident. I played high levels of sport. I've always shown key traits that I was never going to work for someone else. It was just, I look back now what I was like, Aaron was never gonna work for anyone unless it was a stop gap in order to, like a springboard to work for myself and that's exactly what it was. Really evaluate, do you want to be assigned a life or do you wanna design your life? And if you wanna design your life and if you're young enough then maybe really think about college and uni. Is it right for you? Is it right for you to go to uni for three, four years because your parents want you to, or you know, you had an uncle that was a doctor and they want you to be a doctor? Again, say no, be your own person, because those three, four years could have been the start of something incredible where you self-educate and you go on to build something really good, really awesome. Things like university and college, I'm definitely gonna do another raw video on all of that. Uh, I can say it here, I think university is a fucking waste of time. Unless you have a burning desire to be a lawyer, a doctor, an accountant, or you know, a nurse, or a physiotherapist, whatever else you need uh, a degree for, I do think university is a waste of time. Looking back now, if, if someone was to ask me, well, Aaron, do you think everyone could be an entrepreneur? Um, if I look at what I've, you know, or certainly what I've learned over the years, I think most people could pursue entrepreneurship. I don't think everyone could be hyper successful, but I do, I do think most people have an entrepreneurial trait in them. They just don't know it because they're not around the right people. You've got to be around the right people to bring out the best in you. I always explain it like this. Push as hard as you can at the age that you are because you're never going to get, you're never going to be that age ever again. An 18 year old could go incredibly hard and train like, a, like an animal, like an unstoppable animal in the gym. But do they? Probably not. But if they're around a beast who trains like a beast in the gym, that 18 year old will push hard. And then that 18 year old will know that they have new levels to achieve because they're now competing, they're running against someone who runs a faster race. They are training with someone who trains even harder. It's the same for business and money. If you come from a family that never really had money or uh, did anything spectacular and you stay there, you're never gonna know there's so much more to life. You go and take yourself into Mayfair in central London and you start hanging around with um, brokers and you know big business owners and people who are in venture capital, you're gonna realize that money is not in an abundance and you can have a piece of it. So it's really what you're exposed to. I would also go back and say, save and invest hard. Don't 
spend a penny on materialistic things that the world wants to see you wear or have. Again, no one fucking cares. If you're walking around in Gucci slides and you've got a Rolex on your arm, no one gives a shit. They might look at you for like two seconds thinking he or she's got a Rolex. They carry on with their life and you realize no one gives a shit. No one's coming up to you asking for an autograph or how did you get it or is it real or is it fake? Because no one gives a shit. Because everyone's, everyone's so concerned about themselves. So I would save and invest hard. From the moment you start earning money, back yourself financially. Uh, it's one of the best things that you could do. And you know, that's kind of really the sum of it. I, I was pretty clued up when I was younger. You know, I, I did certainly get in the wrong mix at some, you know, at some points in my life. But in terms of some of the basics, I pretty much had them instilled in me because of my parents. But if I had to go back, that would be everything that I'd tell a younger version of myself. And I'm hoping that resonated with you. Um, I'm hoping you make notes and that you're gonna implement some of those. In fact, what I would like you to do is tell me what resonated with you most and what will you implement, if any, um, let me know in the comments. I'm really looking forward to doing more of these raw videos. I like talking and going over things that I've learned and sharing them in this type of content. So this is definitely gonna be a new kind of style of filming for me. Please do like and subscribe if you liked this video. And until the next one, which will be very soon, I will see you on the flip side.